Hello, this is T-Rex bringing you back for some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. In the last episode, we wrapped up some side quests here in the Sector Seven slums. And so we don't really have a whole lot left to do here right now, other than return to Seventh Heaven to advance the main storyline. A few changes I made off screen, though, that I feel bare going over is I rearranged Materia a little bit for some of the upcoming combat, although I don't anticipate there to be much in this particular episode. And so I gave Cloud of Fire Materia and an Ice Materia and a wind materia as well and then the healing materia paired with the auto cure materia and so some of the materia that i slotted off screen isn't even really necessary for the upcoming challenges but i more so did it just to continue to gain ap on it and increase its power that way so with tifa i have the first strike materia i, I elected to equip that and, and with the assess materia as well so my hope is that by using this as a combination that I will have the capacity to assess enemies quicker because what the first strike materia is supposed to do is give me a little bit of an ATB bar boost at the start of battle so that's sort of a nice feature and could be handy for assessing new foes at the start of the battle uh, I also gave her the other fire materia that I had as I feel it's a little bit more relevant for some of the upcoming challenges and then the chakra materia which I anticipate that I don't won't really need but I gave it to her once again just sort of in the hope of continuing to gain some AP on it and shortcuts that I arranged off screen as well include for cloud um, giving him the fire and the blizzard spell as well as the focus thrust focus thrust does a good job of raising stagger especially on pressured enemies and so in keeping with Chadley's objective that he is pushing us to undertake next which is this stagger effect part two we need to continue to exert ourselves as far as staggering new enemy types as we encounter them so may be able to accomplish that in some of the combat in this episode it could be a little difficult though given the foes that we're going to be fighting coming up here in the not too distant future back to the shortcuts though with tifa i elected to make her the leader first of all and then i gave her namely the assess shortcut as well as the fire spell i don't anticipate that i'll use it nor do i anticipate that i'll be using unbridled strength i just shortcut those to pretty much fill up the slots and sort of mentally commit preferred attacks in advance for the upcoming sequences so so that's about all that i can say for preparation going into this episode uh we'll go ahead and head on over to seventh heaven then which is what's our objective over there let's go ahead and check that out to claim our payment okay so let's go do that i need to go the right way here that would be good to do something's wrong Let's check it out. And so we have a huge crowd now outside of the bar. And our story objective moves over here. And we're supposed to check out the commotion. I guess one other thing worth noting before I do that is that Weimer is still here on the map. But in spite of having the icon here, he doesn't really offer any new side quests. So, I mean, it's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Why you Somebody do me like went that? and stole some blast and made it from a Shinra warehouse. <laughs> So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me 
They're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And... He's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. All right, so now we have to follow Tifa again. Our object, our main quest objective updates to Shinra reacts. We're supposed to go after Johnny now. Fans of the original might remember Johnny a little bit. He had a minor role in the original. Don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You've got it all wrong. I've never got anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. he had to do was keep his mouth shut yep anyway you distract the officers and I'll figure something out okay notably we're in a new area of the map here in the municipal storage area I just figured I'd mention that and we have to continue to go up here to pursue Johnny and the security offers officers so let's go ahead and do that Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Ow! Oh, let go! <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. <laughs> okay, and so we have a couple security officers here. And so we want to try and assess them as quick as possible because they're the weakest of the bunch. So, so there's one assess out of the way. And then let's go ahead and assess the guard dog as well. Try and spare that guy if at all possible. Go ahead and assess the last one, which is the elite security officer. And so these guys are weak to fire with the exception of the guard dog, which has a weakness to ice. I think I sort of went through the assesses here a little quickly. So that's worth acknowledging if we want to use that, but I think I'm going to try and get the focus thrust off and see if I can't stagger a couple foes in this fight. Let's do this. So I'll switch to Cloud to do that. That guy's dead, so we can't do it there. We'll try and turn our attention here. We should be able to stagger him here. You're done. Going in. Here we go. Uh, so, is it over? Yo, anybody there? 
so we if can you're get there, out then help me. All right. Now we got some crates here to smash first. Let's go ahead and do that. See if we can't get anything out of them. But that looks like about it. So let's go over here and interact with Johnny now. What now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna hold up! Wait! Don't! Don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss. You ain't never gonna see my face again. I swear. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but it's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <clears throat> we need to go before they wake up. Okay, and so before we hightail it out of here, I'm going to go ahead and open the menu up. And we did gain a weapon level on Cloud in that last fight. And so this affords us the ability to upgrade our weapon a little bit further. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that here with the iron blade. So go ahead and open that up. And notably we got a new subcore. And so I think I referred to this a little bit last episode as I knew I was closing in on the level here. And so we have the core, and then we can hit our trigger buttons to switch between the core and the subcores. And so on the subcore, we have a whole new list of abilities available for unlock. And it should be evident by comparison to our original core that the abilities to unlock are a little bit more expensive. And so that was part of the reason why I didn't unlock the other two abilities here. Um, the physical damage reduction, 10% when guarding. And then in addition to that, the counter damage up. Because I was more interested in saving my SP and funneling, them it, funneling it into abilities that I felt um, were more along the line of how I was trying to grow Cloud. At least with this particular weapon. And so... We can see here that we have a few more abilities. They cost a little bit more, but they're also a little bit more powerful. And so we should see that the additions to attack power and magic power, for example, by comparison to that of the standard core, are a little bit higher. Or, well, I guess it doesn't really offer the same boost. I could hope demonstrate that in the buster sword, I suppose. But anyway, so what sort of seems to be the case here at least with how I'm planning on using this weapon for the time being, unless I have to change my strap for the a little bit later on, is that I'm really gonna only gonna interested in unlocking one ability here on the iron sword for the time being. And so the there's a couple of abilities here that are contingent on HP total, and so I don't really see where that's a solid investment in SP. So and given how this sword is already built, I'm going to shy away from the attack up upgrade. So really about the only thing that I'm interested in here is the magic attack up. So I'll go ahead and unlock that. And then for the time being, I think I'm going to leave the iron blade equipped because of the three materia slots versus the, the two on the buster sword. So it continues to be more advantageous to have the extra materia slot available on the iron blade for the time being, in spite of it not being linked. But we can go ahead and take a quick look at the buster sword abilities as well. And so here we can see it. So attack power plus five, magic attack power plus five at an SP cost of plus of four. And here we have boost of plus eight for both of those stats at an SP cost of six. So, but seeing how I'm not planning on using the buster sword, I'm not going to upgrade that for the time being. Instead, I'll hold on to my SP and see if, uh, see how my party develops here as time passes, I guess. So that's all I want to do as far as leveling weapons for now.
Tifa's close too. She's five SP off from gaining another level, and I think the SP is tied to level up, so we gain SP at level up. So we have a bench. I, I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. Right. Back to the bar. I want to check our HP MP. We might as well use the bench while we're here. Check the vending machine, make sure there's nothing in it worth picking up. Uh, same stuff from the one before. So, go ahead and head back to 7th Heaven with that. Johnny's mother over here. My son suddenly told us that he was going to leave town. Oh, tell me it isn't true. He can't survive out there on his own. He's a headstrong boy, so once he puts his mind to something, he always follows through. For better or worse, I suppose. My son suddenly told us that he was going to leave town. Oh, tell me it isn't true. He can't survive out there on his own. My boy up and declared he was leaving town to go on a journey. <laughs> we only live once. I say while he's young, he should follow his heart. Even if it means defying the man. Playing by the rules only gets you so far. Oh, I, I don't think I've had a chance to introduce myself yet. I'm Johnny's father. I'm sure you're terribly worried about him too, aren't you, Tifa? <laughs> That's my boy. I'll have to remember to tell him that when he finally comes back home. My boy up and declared he was leaving town to go on a journey. <laughs> we only live once. I say while he's young, he should follow his heart. Even if it means defying the man. Playing by the rules only gets you so far. Alright, so we've exhausted all lines of dialogue with Johnny's parents. So we can go ahead and head on back to 7th Heaven. And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Want to head back out for a little while? There's really nothing here to do in the slums right now, so we can just go ahead and head on in. We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene. Want to go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay. You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Sorry, 
but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? Well, I guess we're sort of waiting to see what's going to happen next. Might be wise to maintain our focus and mental acuity as a result. So, yeah, not in the mood. Not really in the mood right now. But if you were, then maybe... Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die... If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then... I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time. All right, we get an indicator then that Tifa's left the party. And we can get up and move around the bar. There is one point of interest here. And that's over here by the jukebox. Wonder if we can head out. Nah. Can't interact with the door. What's this on the wall here, though? A leaderboard? Hmm. For what, though? The dartboard, maybe? Yes, and we got a tutorial here on darts and how to play them. We want to reduce our points to zero. Mm. All right. All good information to have. And so we get the opportunity now to play a mini game which is darts here and it's not too difficult to um win this game i guess uh win the leader or get placed at the top of the leaderboard and there's a trophy link to doing it but really in order to do it what we're striving to do is is play a perfect game which i am currently not in the midst of doing but with a little persistence, it shouldn't take too un too long to unlock it and, and get the trophy tied to it. So I'll try and demonstrate it here during the live stream. And if it takes too long for anyone watching post live stream, I might edit some of the footage out. But I'll try and do it here. It shouldn't take too long. So let's go ahead and quit. 
Just like I said, I had a practice run at this and am sort of familiar with how to get it. And so basically we have to Maybe win the it. win the game in in seven throws, which is a bullseye on every dart and then a one for the last if that was the way I did it off screen. So let's see if we can't do that. So we want to pay attention to our reticle. And once it gets tight, we want to throw. All right, and there we go. So we are now at the top of the leaderboard of the seventh heaven darts postings or rankings, I guess. So very cool. And as I mentioned, we we get a trophy for our efforts there. Now, whether or not we get anything else later on, like an item or something, I am not really sure. Because now we're in front of everyone, many of which we've seen before. So, I guess we'll go ahead and close it with that. And about the only thing left to do here in the bar now is to go over back to our seat. And we can wait at the counter for Tifa. second thoughts I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference but not like this I just I feel trapped if it feels wrong don't do it you out we agreed to disagree so you want another drink Tifa 
Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but... in the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? <laughs> Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. <sighs> I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Well, and apparently we're not on for the next job, but Barrett did give us a little Man, extra money spot. for our payment. Damn, Biggs, so between that <laughs> and the water Keep filter tight. money, we no actually made a little tomorrow. extra gill. More reason to live so. it up now. Yep, best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long since we did this. Not since we went on that all-night bender after HQ gave us the boot. They did not give us the boot. It was an amicable separation. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. Now well, let's see what everyone's got to say here. here. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. Don't take this the wrong way, but right now I need to spend time with the gang. Sorry, you were saying? No need for that, boss. We'll talk later. I promise. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah, but when she... Don't take this the wrong way, but right now I need to spend time with the gang. Sorry, you were saying? Happy to look out for you, like I know you'll look out for me. So long as someone looks out for my stomach. Tifa's got you covered there. As a friend, or as a cook. As if you've really got to ask. <laughs> hey, right? little guy, you need anything? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That tickles! <laughs> I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> you know, it'd be really cool if we could do this again tomorrow night. Oh, we will. Avalanche! Avalanche! <laughs> you heard him, it's on for Why sure! Why every night? <laughs> oh no. You better not be about to ask for more money. Okay, what were we talking about? <laughs> you guys... When the job's done, we're done. Your words. Okay, what were we talking about? So what? Now you give a shit about the cause? But he was afraid we'd lean on you too much if we took you along. We'll talk. We were all pushing real hard for you, you know? But he was afraid we'd lean on you too much if we took you along. Let me treat you to dinner at my place. I can introduce you to all my cats. I'd offer to share, but... You know. Bet you could use a bite to eat too, huh? Let me treat you to dinner at my place. I can introduce you to all my cats. Well, that sounds like fun. And we no longer have access to the dartboard, so that's worth acknowledging. Still have access to the leaderboard. Could get pretty dicey out there. Sorry, boss man wasn't having it. Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. Sorry. Boss man wasn't having it. Alright, and so I guess we're not welcomed here, so we might as well head on out. I've chatted with that Barrett guy a few times. Before we do that, though, let's check our main quest objective. And we're supposed to return to our apartment room. Okay. Uh, like our apartment, rather. Hang around here till he shows up. Big guy with a gun for an arm. 
Where it is he lives in this town. Just shut up and wait. We'll find him soon enough. Man, seems like the boss always gives us the most shit past his assignment. Guess that's why we're paid so damn much. <laughs> What's up with them? All right, and our objective changes to ominous shadows now. Which we were supposed to find out what the suspicious men are up to over here, but that seems like something that would be good to do in the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and save my progress here. And that will wrap this episode up. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.